What is good, guys? My friend and Kater back again. How's the pack doing? Your alpha is here with some little news for you guys uh, that's going to be something interesting and it, it has already gotten people talking on social media and as a comic book fan and as a, char a fan of this character, um, yeah, this has gotten me a little bit like, hmm, but unlike the rest of the people that are just boo-hooing and crying, I tried, I tried to use a little detective work and figure out why this has happened. Why? So, read on comicbook.com, a site that I do go to a lot, there has been some promotional artwork uh, involving Kamala Khan for her upcoming Disney Plus series which I am still looking forward to seeing. As you all know, Kamala Khan will be in the Marvels, the second sequel to Captain Marvel, along with Monica Rambeau and Carol Danvers. That's gonna be great. However, in this promotional artwork, um, I'll leave the link in the description uh, of the, the page down below, but in this artwork, it seems to be that the MCU version of Kamala Khan has been, her powers seem to have changed uh, to some degree. Now, for all those who don't know or don't remember, remember, Kamala Khan has size manipulation powers, she can, or, and also elongated powers and elasticity powers. She can grow her mass and size, but she also can stretch. She has a little, she has a, a somewhat of a healing factor. There are a lot of things, a lot of, about her powers that you don't know. And of course, she is an inhuman. But in this artwork, it clearly sees, you see Kamala with some sort of energy-based power, almost in a sense of a construct. Now, with that being said, if you are a comic fan, you start thinking to yourself, wait a minute, when I think of constructs, the only hero that comes to mind quick is Green Lantern. The artwork shows Kamala with a fist and there's an, a, a bigger fist in kind of a color spectrum crystallized form. Already online, people are flipping out and saying just harsh things. You're gonna get that. But unfortunately, yours truly, your alpha, don't roll that way. So as I said before, I try to figure out why. Why change her powers? Let's be honest. This is the first time in the Marvel Cinematic Universe that I can recall, correct me on that, guys, that a hero has, their powers have been changed so dramatically, so drastically. Sure, they... Most, some heroes have been nerfed. Your Hulk, your Thor, your Drax, even your Mantis. They have not even scratched the surface on what that character can do. They have focused so much on our empathic powers, they have left everything else out. But still, not so much that they have altered a character's power set. Why? Why? Why do that? And I'm trying to figure it out. The detective in me started to come out. And I'm like, hmm, I've come up with two theories. Two theories that could be logical. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Logic A. They don't want anybody with elastic powers powers of elasticity before the OG elastic hero, Reed Richards. That's number one. That's my first theory on why they don't. Second theory is simple. They, maybe they want to have Kamala, MCU's Kamala, have somewhat a similar power set or be somewhat still in that kind of echelon range with Carol 
and Monica. Carol and her photon abilities and absorbing power and things like that, while Monica is a light spectrum enhanced human, powerful herself. And then we got Kamala who can grow in mass and it has elongated powers and can stretch, things like that, if that was the case. But now they can go, well, she she can do all that, but she it's more constructive. Now, unfortunately, with that being said, then she just has become another hero, in a sense. She has become armor from the X-Men. Now, a lot of people say, oh, that's not gonna change anything. But in retrospect, it does change things because a hero, a superhero's powers are just as much as an identity of that hero. Let's use an example, for example. Spider-Man loses the spider sense, the wall crawling, the the, the agility, the, and, and, and everything like that. And he all he has is his superhuman strength. Then he's not Spider-Man. You see? You see where I'm coming from with that? Sure, he'll have the web shit, but still, everything else, he's not gonna be able to fall like a spider. That sixth sense that he has. That's not, he's, then he's not identified as Spider-Man anymore. He should be called something else. This is kind of the same concept of Kamala, Ms. Marvel. Why the drastic change? Those are my, my beliefs of why they change. And I'm, I strongly feel like it is because they don't want anybody before Reed Richards to have the long, elongated powers and things like that. They don't want that. I, I feel, I strongly feel that is the that is the the clear cut reason. Now the other reason, that, now the other thing that most people are wondering about this series is, will she be an Inhuman? Will this be the reintroduction of the Inhumans? Because in some cases, that also plays a big factor in her identity. She's an inhuman. She's not. Or they could get away with it like they did in the. Somewhat in the. Uh, no. Because in the Avengers game, they clearly said she was an inhuman. So. The point is, guys, if this promotional art is true, and the fact is that she is. Her power set has changed. Will that harbor any kind of resentment to people like, why'd y'all change her? Why did y'all change her look? Why did y'all change her power set? Is it because you don't want nobody to have stretchy powers, elastic powers, elongated powers before Reed Richards? Is that the case? To some degree, I may can say, okay, maybe I can let that slide a little bit. But that does kind of hurt, guys. I'm, I'm not... I don't feel like that was necessary. Hopefully, outside of her power set, which they have shown clips that she's still going to be the same Kamala Khan that we've read in the comics, but she's now her power sets are different. But then this also brings up other problems. It's like, okay, when y'all do incorporate the X-Men, and if y'all do throw in armor in there, and she had people are going to start talking. And they're going to like, wait a minute, she has the same kind of powers if it is true. Like, come on. The constructs and armor up and things like that. Some people say, well, she's still going to be able to stretch, but it'll be with the new power set. But it's still not the elongated power. More importantly, I don't understand why, and it'd be cool to have another person that can get giant and grow outside of just Ant-Man. This is the Marvel Universe. Many characters possess uh, the same somewhat echelons of power set. There are many people that can grow in size and mass. There are many with superhuman strength and durability and things like that. But still, a, a superhero's powers also is a way to identify them. So I hopefully 
hopefully this is something that will be solved and they go into detail why they did it. They probably won't, that's just me thinking out loud. But those are my theories on why this has changed. I'd love to hear your theories. Uh, please be respectful, guys, in the comment section. You know, I don't want to get, see a bunch of arguing and cussing at people. I hate that, because if I start seeing any of that, I'm, I'll, I'll start blocking you or deleting you real quick, put you in a timeout. Uh, but that's the problem sometimes, I, I think, with our community. We, we, we don't want to hear each other out, but if we do want to hear, they, then we get to call name call and everything like that. Cut that out. But I am looking forward to hearing your comments. Take care, guys, as always. Peace and love. Stay tuned. Keep it real. This ain't going to stop me from watching the, the Ms. Marvel series. I'm just saying. But it is a little concerning for me because this has never happened so far in the MCU. And other than that, my pack, don't forget to share. Don't forget to claw that like button because we wolves. <laughs>